Hi guys, it's Mr. Schwanekamp. There I am. Uh, welcome back to another exciting lesson. Today we are going to solve exponential functions uh, without logarithms. The way we're going to do that today is by doing change of base of a function. Uh, you'll kind of see what that looks like. It's different, uh, but if you know your exponent rules at all in terms of like two to what power gets you, whatever, uh, it shouldn't be too bad. So we'll work through it. I kind of like them. They're kind of like a puzzle. And once you figure out that first piece, not too bad with that. So let's see how we do with these. So first of all, what if I gave you this problem right here? Let's say I said three plus X, I don't know. Let's do this one. Three times X is equal to two, three times two. What do you think X would be? Three times X is equal to three times two. Oh, you're multiplying by three on both sides. X equals two, done. That's an easy math problem. And it doesn't matter what that number is. If it were 10, X is equal to 10 times four. Well, you know that X is four and so on. If we could get a problem to this state right here, then it's a pretty easy concept from there to solve. And really, that's kind of what we're doing today. So keep that in mind. All right, so we're gonna solve exponential functions. Eventually, we're gonna be able to solve this thing right here for N. That's the ultimate goal. All right, so that's what we're trying to do today. To do that, there's a couple steps, and I wrote these out as steps. I don't know if I love writing them out as steps, but here's what we're gonna do. So step one is we are going to identify a new base. And here's what I mean by that. When you have the numbers three and nine, okay, let's say we had it with an exponent, three to the X and nine to the X, is it possible to rewrite three and nine as the a number with an exponent that they're both the same base. So for example, three and nine, I could rewrite three to the first power. And how could I rewrite nine? Well, nine would be three squared. I rewrote both, both numbers with a base of three to a power but now they have the same base and we have the same base then we can just look at their exponents and that's gonna be the goal today. Okay, so we need to identify a new base. So let's try that again, five and 125. Is there any number that I could rewrite both the number five and 125 to be such that you could write them both to, as a number to a power? Well, five to the first and five cubed. You might not be perfect at that, but five times five is 25, times five again is 125. There's three of them five cubed. So we rewrote that one as five to a power. Four and 16. Is there any number we could rewrite four and 16 to be? When we do this think the number's always going to get smaller. So I can't make four become any bigger because there's no way, uh, or we don't want to mess with that. We always want to make the number smaller. So four and 16, is there some number that we could rewrite four and 16 to be? Well, hopefully you can see one, four and four squared. We wrote, wrote both numbers as 4 to a power. This one's just 4 to the first power. That one is 4 squared. That gets me 16. Or you could do this one if you really wanted to get fancy. We could rewrite that as 2 squared, because 2 squared is 4, and 2 to the fourth power. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That is 16. So either one of those versions here is going to work for you. You could write it as 4 to a power or 2 to a power. They both work. Just find the one that makes you happiest. Four and eight, is there any number I could rewrite there? So a lot of times students will see this four and they'll be like, oh, eight is four. Yeah, four squared is not eight. All right, be careful with that. There is a number we can use here, two. If I rewrote four as two squared, then I could rewrite eight as two cubed. Now they both have a base of two, we're good to go. Okay, so the first step to solving an exponential function is try to identify a new base. And then we're going to rewrite with that base. And final, we are going to cancel. Well, yeah, cancel, that's fine. Cancel and solve. All right, and that might not make tons of sense. It'll make sense here in a second. All right, so when we are doing this, here's something to always kind of keep in mind. If you are looking, man, what base could I rewrite this as? 95% of the time, you're going to use the number 2, 3, or 5. 2, 3, or 5 are going to be your favorite base numbers. Sometimes it's 4, but normally if they throw a number 4 at you, 
It's normally trying to mess with you a little bit, so be careful. Two, three, and five are the most common bases here. All right, so we look at this first problem. We've got three, okay? I want to rewrite both sides to be the same base. Well, three is the smaller number, so it's going to not be any bigger than three. Could I rewrite 27 as three to a power? Yeah, 27 is three cubed. And so we rewrote both sides as the same base. Now that I have the same base, three to some power is equal to three to some power. Well, if these two things are truly equal to each other, and they have the same base, what that means is the powers have to be equal to each other. It's the only way these two equations could be equal. Or in other words, we're going to cancel out the same base on both sides. So since, excuse me, since they're both the same base of three, we know that those exponents need to be equal to each other as well. And now we just solve this. So we canceled. Now we're going to solve minus one, minus one. N equals two. So what does that tell me? It tells me 27 is the same thing as 3 to the 2, sorry, 2 plus 1. Oh, yeah, 3 to the 3rd is equal to 27. That's a true statement. I'm good there. We identified a base. We rewrote it. We canceled. We solved. We are good. Let's go to the next one. We see 4. We see 8. Okay, 4 and 8. So, again, we're rewriting with the same base. We want to go no bigger than 4. But there's no way of rewriting 4 to some power to get me 8. So instead, we're going to go with the base of 2. 2 to what power gets me 4? Well, 2 squared. 2 to what power gets me 8? 2 cubed. When you rewrite this thing, you are going to have to multiply my new exponent, this 2, with the original exponent. So it's going to be 2 times 2x. And 3 times x minus 1. Notice that I put that in parentheses. That's going to be the number one mistake you make here. If we're going to put them in parentheses. So we wrote 4 as 2 to a power. We multiplied the new exponent with the old exponent. 8 became 2 cubed. We multiplied the new exponent by the old exponent. The bases are going to cancel. This is 4x. This is 3x minus 3. So we rewrote. We canceled. Now we're going to solve. Let's subtract 3x minus 3x. X equals negative 1. Boom, done. Let's try it again. Okay, this is one that looks a little bit different. 2 to the 4x minus 1. Well, I can't really go any smaller than 2. So I know this thing is going to be 2. Remember, the bases that we want to use are 2, 3, or 5. And if you can tell so far, we've stayed with that 2 and 3. All right, so 2 to the 4x minus 1. I didn't change that side. But I need to rewrite 1 over 16 as 2 to some power. 2 to what power gets you 1 over 16? Well, if you're getting a fraction, if we're getting a fraction, we should know what power needs to be. The power needs to be negative. That's the only way I can get that is if my power is negative. So definitely negative power. Definitely a negative power. And then 2 to what power gets me 16? That would be 4. Again, we did that just a couple chapters ago. If you've forgotten that, I think the last uh, section. You might want to look back at that if you've forgotten. But cool, 1 over 16 is the same thing as 2 to the negative 4. Negative flips the fraction. 2 to the 4th gets me 16. Now that I've rewritten, I can go ahead and cancel the bases. 4x minus 1 equals negative 4. Add 1. Add 1. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. X is equal to negative 3 fourths. Rewrote. Canceled. Solved. Try it again. 5 to the 2x minus 5 and 1 over 25. What base can I rewrite both sides to be? Well, I see that base of 5. Probably going to stick with it. What does my power need to be to get me 1 over 25? Well, since it's a fraction, I know it's going to be negative. And then 5, what gets me 25? 5 squared. Once we've rewritten, cancel the bases. Add 5. Add 5. 2x is 3. Divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 3 halves. Done. And again, it's just keep wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it. That's what we're looking at. Okay, let's look at letter E. We've got 1 ninth, 3v minus 2 is equal to 81. So 1 ninth and 81, there's a couple different ways we could do this. 
one ninth. I, you, in your brain, you should probably be thinking, all right, two, three, five. I could write this as a base of three. I could rewrite both sides of base of three if you wanted to. I'm going to keep it as a base of nine. How could I make one ninth become just nine? Well, I would need to raise it to the negative one power because a negative one power is going to flip it from a fraction back to a normal uh, whole number. And I'm going to, so it would be nine to the negative one is the same thing as one ninth. And then I need to multiply my existing exponents with uh, my old old and new exponents need to be multiplied together. And then could I rewrite 81 as 9 to a power? Yeah, 9 squared. Cancel, distribute, negative 3v plus 2 equals 2 minus 2 divided by 3. v is 0. And that should make sense. 1 ninth, if I plug in 0 here, 1 ninth to the negative 2. Well, the negative would flip it and make it 9, and then 9 squared gets me 81. Oh, yeah. I'm checking my work. That's my correct answer. Let's go to letter F. 1 half X to the minus 1. And then 16 and 2X. So I'm thinking of bases. I'm thinking 2, 3, 5. Which one do you think is going to be the best one? Probably 2. So on the left side, or the right side here, 16. Oh, yeah, that's 2 to the 4th. And I'm going to multiply by the existing exponents. 1 half. Well, that would be. 2, but I need to make it a fraction, so negative 1, and I need to multiply that by what already was there. Same basis, so we can cancel. Distribute. Boom. Then we solve, so let's uh, add an x, add an x. 1 equals 9x, divide by 9, divide by 9, x equals 1 ninth. Again, nothing that crazy. You should be doing pretty well with this. We're going pretty quick. All right. And just to kind of finish this out, you've seen plenty of times. Again, make sure you're distributing to that exponent. That is the number one mistake you're going to make here today. Uh, don't screw that up. Rapid fire. Just looking really quick in your brain. Think what's the base going to be? 81 and 27. What base could get you both 81 and 27? It would be three. Three to the fourth. Boom, put in the parentheses and three cubed, put in parentheses, and you can solve from there. H, what base could I use? 16 and one fourth, what base could you use? Well, you could use four or two, both of them work. I would go, let's go four, because it's easier. Four squared, and then you gotta multiply that by negative two X, because four squared is 16. How could I make one fourth four? Well, four to the negative one times that exponent, boom, I can solve it from there. Letter I, what base could I rewrite for 8 and 32? 8 and 32, let's go with 2. 2 cubed gets me 8 times the exponent that's already there, and 2 to the 5th gets me 32. Cancel the basis and solve. We're done. Letter J, ooh, a tough one, 6x plus 4, and 1 over 36. What base would we work here? This time, not 2, 3, or 5. 2, 3, or 5 isn't going to help us. Instead, we want to use 6. Because I know that I can rewrite 1 over 36 as 6 to the negative 2. Negative to flip it, and 6 squared gets me 36. Solving exponential equations by rewriting bases. This doesn't work all the time. But when it does work, it's pretty nice. You don't have to use a calculator to solve them. We'll get to problems where it doesn't always work. In fact, this whole chapter is kind of leading to this question right here. 2 to the sum power gets me 7. I can't rewrite to solve that. It looks like such a basic equation that I should be able to solve it. And that's where we're going to head to here in the next section. Hope it helps. If not, ask me some questions, please.